We've got a brand new feature here at the Calgary Stampede. We've got the cow horse fence spec. So, I mean, it's cow work only. It's where you come in and just do it down and dirty. It's going to be a good one. So, excitement coming tomorrow. And if you're into the cow horse sport, you want to be here tomorrow afternoon, 3 o'clock. Well, it will be spectacular. But right now, we're watching the rain work portion. And, Ron, you alluded to at the start, maybe we have some new fans joining us. You talked about a pattern number. Did too. This is NRCHA pattern number nine. The way it reads, the first element, trot out to the middle, face the judges, and start your circles. Start to the right. Small, slow circle, too large, fast, and that's exactly what she did. You can see the tracks now. How pretty are those circles? I mean, like you drew them with a compass. And I mean a compass from school, buddy, not the <laughs> one out of your little explorer's shoes. <laughs> Uh, the old compass set. I don't miss having to yeah. do that in school anymore. Yeah, I don't know. Protractors and yeah, all sorts Yeah, yeah. I don't know where they still have that kind of stuff. But anyway, now she's down on the left-hand set of circles, and she's drawing a pretty set down there, too. When she comes through after this first set of circles, she changes leads, which is the legs that propel the horse from side to side. Watch as she comes through here on the middle now. See how smooth that was? Well, she just changed from the left lead to the right lead. And she's done that once each way to demonstrate the athleticism of her horse on either way. This is low riding cat DR, Phoebe Bushnell, owner and rider from Black Diamond, Alberta. This is a cow horse girl, too, oh, now. Yeah. And of course, our fans are plotting that sliding stop. And again, I like the name low riding. Well, that's exactly what she wants here. She wants to get low on that back end and now going to those spins and again watching that foot inside back foot kind of as the pivot point. What a great job by this cowgirl. This is a very, this young lady's had a great time. She loves this black horse. Most of these riders do love their horse, but this low riding horse has been a, a real sense of pride and joy for this girl. Low riding cat DR, the horse is sired by high flying cat. He's a highbrow cat son. The mother of this horse, Smart Mahogany DR. This horse is just a seven year old, just getting into it, really into its prime. And as we saw earlier with a 16 year old horse, these horses have a great longevity to them. And horse age, obviously a big part of this is they grow and train into this, but we'll see horses as young as what, four or five year olds competing here today? That's right, because you asked about the equipment. We'll, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about the Hackamore when we get to that class. It's a two-handed device, and uh, you'll see that class is restricted to four and five year old horses. So uh, by design, what we're trying to do is preserve the training method of the vaqueros as we talked about the history. They knew how to make a horse, how to develop its instincts and its skills. They never pushed it. They didn't uh, use the horse too hard too early in its life. They waited for its physical maturity and that of course promoted longevity. And that's exactly what the cow horse system does if you will. It looks to make a long serving horse. Now we're watching Phoebe and low rider. We're going down the fence. Now look at the rate on that. She just held that cow up. But you know what? There's a double whistle. There's an interesting whistle. Double whistle, new cow. And we talked about that a few moments ago. We said that there might be an opportunity for that new cow. Now what happens and that comes down to that kind of luck of the draw and you got to have one that's going to certainly give you an opportunity to win. And after her rain work run, she's going to want one that's going to give her a big score because she had a great rain work pattern. That's a whole deal right there. What they do is just like a re-ride. They look at it. Either the horse is one or two, or the cow here is one or two extremes. Either the cow's too slow, too recalcitrant. I mean, there's just no honor to it. Either that or it's too wild and, and really has no honor. So that cow kind of run out there. She was right in the right position on the cow. She runs the cow out, but it kind of bowed its neck and just was disrespectful, and it's not going to allow her to hold that cow. So judge is very shrewd. They know their way around cattle, too, and they want the best horse and rider to win. They don't want it to be jeopardized by a poor cow. So here's a snappy cow, but as you can see, it's honorable. See, gets the position. Cow goes, oh, okay, can't go there. The other cow pushed, bullet its way through. So here's Phoebe going down a fence. This cow's going to run, and she's going to go nice rate. Cow matched 
speed for speed, steps in the middle of that cow and says, hey, you got to turn. Cow goes, what do you mean? She goes, now. <laughs> cow should have learned. Listen to that lady. She has not left much room between her and that cow since coming off the fence run. You're absolutely right, Dustin. I mean, she's been close to that cow the whole time. This could be a good-looking score. The whistle sounds, and she's going to be a happy lady, I think. Well, Phoebe Bushnell, low-riding cat DR, you did a nice job here at Calgary today.